Okay, you've got your mules all tied together, and whether you have two or you have ten, uh, you've got to be ready. Once you tie them together, there's no waste of time. You're, you're on to be on your saddle horse and pick up your string and go. Because the longer that they're tied together like that and just standing still, the more chances of it, an actual wreck. Now, most animals, most mules, most horses are taught to, run, to lead from their right side or from your right side. So that's what we, how we lead them. You got it, your, your lead rope with the front mule right in your front, in your right hand. And then as soon as we've got her under control and ready to go, we're going to get our horse going. Now, the safest thing to be for a spring mule is what I say is you want to keep your neck stretched. That means you want to keep them moving. That's the safest you can be. So, as you can see, if I keep them tight here, I want her to get back a little bit. Anyway, if I can keep my string kind of stretched out a little bit, it's the safest thing I can do. Now, I want to keep this leaf rope out here as much as I can. This cup. And if you're just getting into a game of leaf and mules or horses, you want to kind of give yourself a little bit of room between your thigh and your and your hand here. Stay back. As you get better, the most I would ever do is one dally like that around your saddle horse so that you can get it off of there in a hurry. Never take a double rack. That's as much as you'll ever do, right there, so you can hang on to that. That's the safe way to leave a bunch of mules. Always be checking back every 30 seconds or so, or more often than that sometimes. Every time you go over a hill or around the corner, you're looking back at all of your mules and checking them. Okay, that should get you going so you can leave the first pack of mules.